This is it? It hasn't been eroded by the waterfall at all. If it wasn't recently made, then that means... It's using seraphic arts. This ruin must date from the Temperance of Avarost. Correct. This is Le Fay, the Shrine of the Trial of Water. It has been some time since we were visited by a shepherd. I'm the Shepherd Saray. I'm the Prime Lord, Lila. You must be a servant of the Water Lord, Amanak. Indeed. I'm Alto, the Protector Seraph who serves Amanak. I'll get right to the point. What must we do to obtain the spiritual power? My sword! Where? Where is my sword? Back! Holy crap! Swords? There's something above. That is Azura. I've heard of him. A powerful Hellion sustained by rage and able to fight eternally without rest. Is the trial to quell Azura? No. To receive the spiritual power, you must find out the reason why Azura became a Hellion to begin with. We can't just purify him? We have to know the reason? If you truly are the Shepherd, you should know why that is important. Right. Psychotherapy, my favorite. <laughs> it isn't called a trial for nothing. I wish you luck. The water trial. Guess it's my time to shine, huh? You'll be fine. It doesn't technically hurt. Technically? What are those things? They look like eyes! That's because they are eyes. I didn't realize arts like this were still alive. Is this the diary of a shepherd? A swordsmith suddenly visited by a seraph.
more of the Shepherd's Diary? Looks like it. They're all busted. Serves them right, the creepy eyeball things. <sighs> we can rest for a bit. It'd be a miracle if they had been working. These date all the way back to the Temperance of Everost. Here we go again. In English, that means... Um, so, the era known as the Temperance of Averost was when Seraphic civilization reached its peak. A great many buildings and artifacts from those times were crafted using the power of Seraphic arts. So, the era of wiggy magic everywhere, basically. We're talking ages and ages ago? Yeah, older than even Edna. <laughs> Saray. Yo! It's thought that the Temperance preceded the era of the gods, but not a great deal is known for certain. Many vital records were lost during the age known as the Dark Period. But these shrines of trials have preserved relics of things that could only have been made by Seraphim. <sighs> They're precious evidence that the Temperance of Averost really and truly happened. Even a bunch of weird-ass eyeballs can be a treasure if you've got the right mindset, huh? Yeah. You can't fathom the true meaning of legends until you've seen their history with your own eyes. So to speak. Ha! <laughs> you look just like Maven when you say that. Indeed. The face of a hopeless romantic. A charitable way to say naive simpleton. Shepherd's Diary in a place like this. Can't be a coincidence. Shepherd. He's veered into a dangerous headspace. <laughs> what did you expect?
left and right, up and down, throwing us every which way. Whoever built this shrine's a real piece of work. Such meticulous design. He or she must have labored very diligently. Correction. You're a real piece of work. Could the owner of this diary be... Azura! Do you think Maltran came here as well? Even if she did, it wouldn't do her any good. Only the Shepherd has what it takes to get anywhere in a place like this. A Shepherd. Or his antithesis. Hey, you think Azura is really a Hellion? Yes. I can feel its malevolence and domain. Why? Do you think it's a fake or something? Well, I mean, isn't it kind of strange? Why would they let a dangerous Hellion like that roam around freely? Why would a Protector Seraph just leave it be? Yeah, they're supposed to be powerful, high-ranked Seraphim, right? It probably has to do with the trial. Protector Seraphim are given special tasks. Sounds like a pretty convenient excuse. Yeah, I can't say that it isn't. You don't have to put it that way. You should know too. Seraphim aren't exactly models of virtue. They're not exactly heroes of justice either. Well, that's... Soul! You two sure sound so convincing when you team up. As long as you got the gist. Yep. If that's the trial, I'm up for it. Give it back! Is that Ashura? isn't it either! Where is it? Where is my sword? His sword? Is it normal for Hellions to attack each other? Ah! I am the Shepherd! It is my job to defeat the Hellions! So, Azura is a Shepherd. A Shepherd who became a Hellion! Give it back! Give me my sword back! You! You stole my sword, didn't you? Azura is a Hellion of anger. The cause of this anger ought to be what made him a Hellion. You mean because his sword was stolen? No. There's more to it. Humans! Oh no! 
I shall destroy anything that summons malevolence! What does he want to do? Cut down the whole world? That's the reason why Azura became a Hellion. Correct. <sighs> that voice! This is the spiritual power of water! Trying to say something. Give me my sword back, Altol. Altol. He's gone. He was the shepherd long ago. Even if he was purified, his body has already deteriorated. So his rage alone kept him going. The problem is Altol. Do you think that he stole Azura's sword? Let's go back and get the story from him straight. Azura really was the shepherd, then that makes Altol. Yes, he was likely the seraph who formed a pact with Azura. Just like everyone else has with me. We've defeated Azura. Much appreciated. Are you... Who we think you are? It is as you suspect. I am the Seraph who guided Azura to the way of the Shepherd, and used him as a vessel. You stole his sword? I did. This is something special. You can tell with one look. This sword is made from a rare metal called Mithril. It truly does have enough power to cleave the world. Is that why you stole it and hid it? Yes. I was probably the one he wanted to slay most of all. But I had no choice. Huh. He was pure to the core. And it was that shining purity that tore him apart with worry. And eventually, cost him his very soul. That's why he made that sword. To cut down anything that would be corrupted by malevolence. But I have no qualms about giving this sword to you. If you can learn to use it, it might aid you even more than the spiritual powers. I'll pass. I already got a sword anyways. Well said. So you passed the trial of the spirit as well? If you don't need it, I'll take it off your hands. We were meant for each other. My blade and I shall cleave the world. Maltran? Saray, look closely! No way! She's... The Hellion! I apologize for ignoring you back then, Seraphim. So you really could see us. What do you intend with the sword? I shall cut down the world, just as Azura wished. But why? I should be asking you. Why don't you understand how Azura felt? Were we to erase this corrupted, chaotic world and all the humans in it, would that not rid us of malevolence once and for all? That is the clean, elegant logic of my master, the Lord of Calamity. You're siding with him? If Alicia knew about this... How sad she'd be. Boo-hoo. You've been using Alicia this whole time! 
Ironically enough, to start a war, it is most effective to take a starry-eyed pacifist and get them all riled up over something. But now, everything is lined up for an all-out collision between Highland and Rollins. Our sad princess... ...has outlived her usefulness! This can't be... Well... This is a fine pickle, isn't it? For Shepard, I suppose reality is a far crueler trial than anything we could come up with. <sighs> Mikleo, Saray seems off lately. I think he's worried about Alicia. I wish it were as simple as telling him to stop. True. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. I'm worried about Alicia too, Saray, but she'll be fine. I agree. In any case, we have the spiritual power. And Maltran is connected to the Lord of Calamity. If we stay focused on our goal, I'm sure we'll find a solution. Right. So the last spiritual power is wind, right? <coughs> yeah, cute. It's not cute. Your stupid wind stirs up my allergies. How could Maltran do this? There are Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family. It isn't all that strange to imagine Hellions amongst the Knights of Highland as well. A hero in war is a Hellion in life, goes the theory. I guess we have more evidence for that now. But who would agree with the thoughts of the Lord of Calamity? It isn't really as strange as you make it sound. Azura himself was a shepherd, as you know. And he thought the same way. In order to save the people and to begin anew, he would destroy everything. It's a pitfall that can trap all humans who let malevolence get the best of them. Yes. How am I gonna break it to Alicia? Does she really need to know? It might be worse for her not to find out at this point. But Maltran said she no longer had any use for Alicia. I suppose we ought to believe her. It wouldn't make sense for her to reveal her true self to us otherwise. Seems to me the biggest issue is she'd been Alicia's rock through all this chaos, right? Good point. If Alicia finds that out, not only has she lost her one pillar of support, but that pillar's been using her the entire time. She could fall apart. That might be exactly what Maltran wants. She's probably thinking she can get the war rolling for good by crushing Alicia's spirit. What should I do? Guess that's that for the water trial. Barely. But weren't we just cleaning up the mess that Altul made? You don't have to say it like that. Mebo, just tell us how you feel. Well, I do feel a bit frustrated. Right? I think this is all just supposed to show us the worst case scenario of what a shepherd could potentially become. I thought so too. So then, what were you going to do if Azura really didn't become a Hellion? In that case, we probably would have been challenged by another Hellion. Do you mean there are more Shepherds who became Hellions? In the long lines of history, many have. I see. So that's why the trial is a test of one's spirit as well. Yes. If that's the case, then I'm convinced. You okay with that, Edna? I'm fine, as long as it's a fair trial. No fair. <laughs> You're definitely spirited, Edna. Still up? Yeah. I was just thinking about stuff and couldn't get to sleep. Guess that means you finally hit puberty. Congrats. This is your fault, Edna. Remember how you said there were two types of Seraphim? Yeah, those who were born as Seraphim and those who became Seraphim. So that means that humans can become Seraphim. Axio and Pawan are like that. They used to be humans. How do you go about doing it? Some sort of special training? There's really no established method to be reborn. However, it is said that humans who are truly pure of heart 
will be reborn as Seraphim. So the special training is just to achieve that pure heart, right? Maybe they'd be more pure if they became mummies or something. When they get reborn, do they take the form of a baby Seraph? No. They appear as a Seraph in their former human form. But they lose all memories of when they were human. Then wouldn't that make them a totally different person? Basically. They're a Seraph now, not a human. But I've heard that their personalities, likes and dislikes, and even important memories get inherited from when they were human. I see. Seraphim are intriguing beings. Now that you mention it, I guess they are. Which type are you, Lila? I'm... I'm sorry. I don't really remember. It's really rude to ask a female Seraph something like that, you know? R really It's basically sexual harassment. I'm so sorry, Lila. I had no idea. Actually, I've never heard of any such taboo. Looks like if you were a human, you'd have what it takes to become a Seraph, Nicleo. Damn it, Edna. Highland is moving closer to war day by day. No one will listen to me, no matter what I do. Because you've been digging a hole, girl. You're stubborn as a mule, but even so... I won't give up. The strength of the night exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. <laughs> you never change. Saray, how are the ruins in Lake Haven Heights? Well, you know, I did obtain the spiritual powers. Wonderful. Though it's a shame, you just missed meeting my master. Alicia, I needed to tell you about... Maltran taught me the way of the spirit at a young age. When I train with my master, I feel so invigorated. I don't enjoy all the scratches I get, but it's only because I lack experience. What kind of person is she? Well, she's kind of like... like a mother to me. But she doesn't like me saying that, says she's too young. But she taught me martial arts and the way of the knighthood when my mother died. I was only seven. I owe her much. Elise... Though, I fear I rely on her a bit too much. That's not true. I'll try to convince the Chancellors. I do everything I can. Are you sure you don't want to tell Alicia the truth about me? Well, at least you have a sparkling personality. You really are a pillar of support for her, you know? That's it? You decided not to tell her just because of that? You're weak, as both a knight and a shepherd. She's of no use to you now, right? Why don't you just leave her alone? I'm interested, that's all of what will become of the foolish princess, who would needlessly turn herself into a martyr for her country. I know Alicia will see it through. <laughs> do you really think so? I... You really don't, do you? After all, you don't even think she has the strength to withstand the truth about me. <sighs> Shut up! As long as we take care of it before she knows, everything will be just fine. No need to rush. The tables will turn soon enough. All is according to his plan.
are we not able to tell Alicia the truth about Maltran? Because we can't actually believe in Alicia, even when we really want to? Uh, she's just trying to provoke you. Yeah. <sighs> Let's keep it a secret. Are you sure? Yeah, I agree. It appears harming Alicia is not part of her grand plan anyways. Then I have no objections. Rose, you agree too, right? You sure told her off. <laughs> Saray looked like he was done with her, so I just took it from there after she started talking smack. <laughs> to be honest, I'm scared to tell Alicia the truth about her master. Alicia really trusts Maltran, more than any one of us can imagine. Do whatever you want. But if you do face off with her, don't hold back. Otherwise, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Don't get so serious. It'll be fine. Come on, stay psyched up! Right. <laughs>